So this is wow. the home. This is my home. Yes, the home that's been room. on the market for three months with n not a single offer. I don't know why. Because it's yeah. got great natural light. Yeah, it's a nice house. An interesting colour, not necessarily one I'd have chosen, but... Well, it's my favourite colour, actually. <gasps> green, and it's one of my favourite shades of green. Wow, there is a lot of furniture in here. It's yeah, a bit of an assault course. Five people. Uh, now I kind of see why you've got a ten-seater <laughs> table. <laughs> right, we need, we all we sit yeah. down to eat all the time as a family. And they have a few friends. So this is the master bedroom. Yeah, this is my room. This is a really good size room. It's just mm -hmm. a, it's a pity there's yeah. no built-in closet. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, we changed the bathroom a bit and removed the closet, and then we put this, and it serves its purpose. The curtains are a little um, gothic. I don't like to have any light when I'm sleeping, so it keeps it really black. As expected in a bungalow of this size, there are two bedrooms on the main floor. The second bedroom is a good size, but the hot pink, while great for kids, might put off some buyers. The kitchen is a manageable size, and aside from the cluttered surfaces, it's in good shape. And you have the most huge yard it's back there. Great. It's great. The kids love it. They have their swing set back there, and they play out there, and we have a nice big deck, and in the summer we have the chairs and barbecues out there. So far, aside from some over-furnishing and clutter, it seems that this house should have sold by now. But this being a bungalow, the basement is very important and could be a potential make-or-break aspect of a property like this. Let's see what they've got hiding downstairs. And this is the main sitting area in the basement. Uh -huh. Kids Ooh. play. How tall are your nephews? Yeah, yeah, Matthew's tall. He's 6'1". Ow. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he bangs it once in a while, but he... I suppose you get used to getting it. Getting used to it, yeah. And presumably this is the... This is one office? Yeah, this is what I use as my office. You could use it as a small bedroom. And then is this the boys' dorm? Yep. Typical boys' room. Yeah, yeah this is the guys. <laughs> well, this is actually clean for them. Hmm. I think you need to have a chat with them. I think we've done our tour now. Then we should go upstairs for a chat. OK. First of all, this is the, f the place where people walk in for the first time, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six small tables. Right, but you can, I mean, these are, well, that's not, that's not a table, that's a What is it? Thing. You, <laughs> you put keep your, your broken <laughs> on them. Right. This is the first thing that people see when they come into the house. And I, I know you need a big table, but you're right. not going to need a big table in the next two weeks. You're well, not gonna... we have to eat dinner still. Yeah, you have to eat dinner, but if we put a table that could seat five people in, you can still eat dinner. Do you show your house like this? And well, I'm not trying to get at you, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why this house isn't right. selling. Well, I, I, I mean, not exactly like this. Yeah. I, I mean, there is, there is, the house is ever changing. Yeah. I mean, there's people in here, we yeah. tidy it up and, you know, something gets moved. I mean, it's not a museum. I do think this room, although green is your favourite colour, mm -hmm. I think maybe we can consider a, a repaint in here. Oh, yeah? You don't find it calming, relaxing mm. kind of colour? Slightly reminds me of cabbage <laughs> that has been boiled too long. <laughs> <laughs> and also, the pink room is, is too pink. Downstairs is a great size room. Mm -hmm. We just, we've got to make it more of a feature, because at the moment, yes. it does look a bit like you've got two sort of teenagers squatting in there. Yeah, but you just got to say to them, look, you know, you've got to work with me for two weeks. Right. So we've got to make it look more young professional rather than families. OK. Because I think that's the target market for this, for this property. It is amazing how unimaginative people are when they go around houses. And they're very bad at, at looking beyond people's items of furniture or beyond their colour choices or beyond clutter. It's difficult to see the potential in this house, and there is a lot of potential. For the next couple of weeks, this, just don't think of this as your home anymore. And I know that's a really hard emotional step. But we've got to think of this as is like a product, trying to market it. And we're just trying to get this house sold as soon as possible. And I know it seems tough, and I'm, I don't know, come into your house and go, this is wrong, this is wrong. But I think it's a great house. Yeah. And, you know, it, it shouldn't have been on the market for three months. No. Well, I agree with you. I don't know why people didn't see past that. Mm -hmm.